Right now, I'm using the Capuchin theme. Yes, that is literally how it is pronounced. If I open this menu and I change the theme to something like Everforest Dark, as you can see, everything adapts. And the same thing goes for Gravebox. So if I change it up, as you can see, everything changes. So this is what the file manager looks like, okay? This is Thunar. Then if I show you a couple of GTK4 apps, something like File Roller, okay? This is File Roller. Then we have Nautilus, which is GNOME's file manager, okay? Then Foliate. Foliate is this book reader. So it's an EPUB reader, which you can use to read books. This. And those are pretty much all the GTK4 apps. And also Clocks. GNOME Clocks looks like this, okay? Now, these are what the GTK4 apps look like. Let me change the theme to Everforest. Okay, the wallpaper changes and everything. Nice. Now, let me open the same apps. So, Foliate looks like this. Then, Nautilus like this. And File Roller like this. These are all GTK4 apps. And this is what GTK3 apps look like. Now, a cool feature is the terminal also changes the terminal colors. So if I again change to Capuchin, all the terminal colors change along with GTK3 colors. Now the thing is, as you can see, GTK4 does not support live theme reloading. So we're going to have to close and reopen all of these applications for it to work, right? Now sometimes it might just choose not to work, but that's no problem. We reapply the theme and then open the app. As you can see, it starts working again. Colors are applied. Great, now how do we actually implement something like this? It takes a bit of time to manually set this up, so I'll show you how I did it and explain everything. I have a color schemes directory inside .config where I've created and stored all the files required for theming. So if I just show you .config color schemes, these are all the theme folders and inside them are the files required to make this work. These are the scripts. The menu that you see over here, right, this one, this is Rafi and this Rafi launcher script is what makes the menu work. And the apply theme.sh script, this one, is the actual thing that does all of the heavy lifting and actually applies all of the themes. Oh, also, as a free bonus for your attention, I've linked my dot .files in the description below, complete with an install script that's tested on Arch, so go and grab that if you want to. And if you want to learn how to make amazing theme switchers like this from scratch and a whole lot more, do yourself a favor and click the first link in the description to check out my program. I've been compiling everything I've learned about this stuff over three years into there specifically for you. If you found this one and my other videos helpful, think about how much more detail and info I give you in my paid stuff. Check it out. Okay. Now, here in every single one of these folders, basically there are a bunch of folders, right? Subfolders that make all of this work, as I've said. Now we have Alacrity, GTK4, and all the other apps. So if I go into these folders, you'll find that there is a file that's going to be copied over to the actual main file, right? The main directory where I've stored all the other stuff. Okay. So if I just show you an overview of how this is going to work, okay, NeoVim is a bit weird with the theming. So if I just reopen, okay, reopen this. As you can see, this is how it works. So we are going to be applying the theme. So just send a message, update the hyperland config, waybar CSS, restart all of that. So if you run this uh, script through the terminal, then it's going to show you all this output. But when you run it through the Rafi menu, it doesn't show that. Okay. So we adjust GTK, terminal themes, Sway and C, Rafi. Oh yeah, here's Sway and C by the way. Here's what Sway and C looks like. Change the theme up. This is what it looks like. Okay this too. This is what it looks like. Okay. Now, how we actually do this uh, goes a little bit something like this. So we have 
our actual config directory where we store all of our configuration files right let's say i wanted to theme just two applications to get started i wanted to theme uh, my terminal so i'm using kitty and i wanted to theme hyperland how would i theme kitty and hyperland so how i would do it is first just go into kitty config kitty and i list the files there so here there is a colors.conf file so if i open the colors.conf file okay here you see the cappuccino kitty mocha theme the mocha theme is what i am using great and if i go into kitty.conf i have included colors.conf so you might be starting to get an idea of how this is working right from looking at this so basically we have kitty.conf which is an actual kitty config file and we have colors.conf which is going to be our colors which changes every time we change the theme so in this everforest dark folder for example i have kitty and inside here i have colors.conf so if i open this you see that the colors change over here it's everforest dark hard so what i want it to do is every single time i run the script and i ask it to change the theme to everforest dark what it does is it basically takes this okay it takes this colors.conf file that's in everforest dark directory and it puts it into my config kitty directory so if i just show you i visualize it for you how it works config kitty okay colors.conf right so what it does is i'll just drag this out uh, new detach tab okay so i take this from this directory okay and i copy it over to here it's going to move it if i actually drag and drop but basically you just copy here Control c and Control v here and what that does is basically change the theme for kitty and in order to implement live reloading you basically have to press Control shift f5 if you're actually interactive but if you're not you can send a sig usr command sig usr command to kitty in order to get it to reload okay so that is how we do it for kitty then what about the other thing what about alacrity for example same thing goes for alacrity so if i open my config alacrity directory over here i have colors alacrity.toml and colors.toml now this one ideally it's not supposed to be there right this one just depends i'm guessing hmm, what is this actually for it might be for a custom theme okay yeah 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 yeah. okay so basically this one this colors.toml is for matugen so if i select a wallpaper from my theme selector here it's going to put the colors in colors.toml but that's separate that's not a part of this so i can delete this and have it work for alacrity how the colors work is inside the colors file i have different colors so if i open gravbox doc for example all of these are the different colors that's used to make it work now here i have switched things around instead of changing the colors file yeah, as i did in kitty what i'm doing is changing the alacrity file for alacrity so if i go to alacrity.toml i what i'm importing here is colors cappuccino mocha.toml so here okay if i just open this directory everforest dark and i go to alacrity's config over there double click and reopen here i'm importing everforest dark you can do it either ways right it's like saying a plus b equals whatever c or b plus a equals c it's the same thing right commutative property in math it doesn't matter because both are the same thing so you can either select this uh, uh, choose to rather change this file change the alacrity file or change the colors file for kitty i've um, decided to change the colors right and here i've just changed it to change or rather decided to change the entire config itself okay then let's pick another app for example hyper hyper hyperland.conf and for this too i have decided to use this okay so if i just open colors as you can see there are all the colors that i'm using over here and what i do is basically just copy this hyperland.conf file over here so if i open the script right now it's in the everforest dark directory so i will have imported so i will have sourced everforestdark.conf colors everforest dark colors everforest dark okay and if i change the folder here and go to gravbox for example what happens is i just import gravboxdark.conf and one key thing to remember is what you have to do is make sure right just make sure that whatever colors you're using over here match 
So depending on the hyperland.conf in my themes directory, I use different color names. So for example, base. Base is what I'm using right now, like dollar sign base. This color is there in Capuchin Mocha config, but it's not here in Gravbox config. So if I just check to make sure, right, scroll down and yeah, base has changed to BG1. And same thing goes for Everforest. That's pretty much all that I'm doing. So what else I'm doing is basically just creating a script to copy these files over depending on the argument I give it. So if I just show you how switching the theme works in the terminal, okay, let me just copy this, paste it over here, cd into there, dot slash apply theme dot sh, and I run something like everforest dark, okay? I do that, and as you can see, there is output over here. It applies all the themes, yep, as you can see. And this is what it does. Basically, when it says updating hyperland configuration, it copies the hyperland config from everforest dark over to my main config and same thing for waybar css and it sets the wallpaper using this command so it's sww img pictures wallpapers or not pictures but rather in here basically wallpaper.jpg so i can copy this paste it in wallpaper.jpg and this is constant by the way this wallpaper.jpg name is the same no matter what theme directory you go into okay that and i add in dash dash transition type center dash dash transition fps to be 60 and dash dash transition step to be 255 and when you run this you get this really smooth center effect where the wallpaper starts expanding outwards from the center in a really cool effect that's what you get so this is the command that was used to create that transition step just basically controls the a stepping sort of effect that you see transition fps again controls the frame rate if you have a high refresh rate monitor just change it to something like 144 and transition type apart from center we have a couple more we have like wipe so you can actually wipe the wallpaper like this there's a couple more you can check that out from their repo okay that's what we use to change the wallpaper then we set the gtk theme as you can see changes the gtk theme does the same for gtk4 Okay, then it reloads the hyperlan config with hyper CTL reload. Okay, then it applies the terminal theme. So if I open a lacrity as well. Okay, right now it's not working. I might have something left out to fix, but ideally it's supposed to work for here too. Okay, then let's see what else. Applying Sway and C theme, right? This is Sway Notification Center. All the buttons work here. Okay they control spotify then applying a rafi theme which is this one and applying the nv chat theme so if i just open new of them close and reopen as you can see it works i can open another file like for example app.py and start writing python here print hello world def hello okay and print hello and call hello like so as you can see all the syntax highlighting is there the theme looks great right and that should pretty much be it what else the way i am personally tracking the gtk theme is by creating a file right just an empty text file you don't even have to end it with .txt you can just create a gtk theme file and inside there you can have the theme name so i call this theme everforest dark and you can get this GTK theme by looking up Everforest GTK theme by Fausto Corpse Bart. Probably butchering the name, but yes, that's the name. Okay, this is the GTK theme. So you just download it from here and you put it in your dot themes directory. So if I ls dot themes, here's what you see. So I have Capuchin, Everforest, and Gravbox Dark. If I show you the actual theme names in nwg look this is what you see so everforest dark capuchin dark and gravbox dark these are the exact theme names that you're supposed to use when setting the theme using g settings that is another thing okay and let's see apart from that what else config color schemes what else do we have that's pretty much it and the same thing goes for the other apps as well. Just copy over the configs, 
keep one thing constant either change the colors right either change the colors or change the config itself and have the colors in the folder have the colors in your main config folder same thing goes for the other themes as well and this is scalable so if i create another theme call it something like kanagawa okay all i have to do is basically just copy these copy these paste it inside over here and that's it just change a couple of the colors and add in a new wallpaper change the gtk theme as well and that should be it i can add in how many other themes that i want and all of them would work and if you want to know how to make themes like this and a whole lot more then just click the first link in the description i teach you everything about how to do it and i mean literally everything there are hours of content right that i've recorded so just check it out it'll help you out a lot i've assimilated again about three years of me rising hyperland and doing this stuff into there so that you can have it without spending too much time doing all the digging and the researching yourself thing is you could but you're just better off spending a bit of money like investing in yourself and your education literally and just learning from somebody who has done it for three years